In this video, we're going to show you real quickly how to pass variables to and from PL SQL to JavaScript uh, inside a single function in the 21C database. Uh, for starters, there are two pieces of uh, functionality you'll need um, that are in the, the more modern versions of the database um, using 21C today, and that is JavaScript MLE. Uh, and I'm also going to be using Apex. So if you wanted to check the version of the database that you're on, you can simply run this query. In my case, I'm actually using the free tier 21C database that comes with a cloud trial. Um, if you want to check to see uh, if the MLE, uh, multilingual engine, is uh, available to you in your database, this is a simple text block, kind of like a, a hello chip world uh, example here. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. Flip this to PL SQL and run. And you can see here the statement process. So if you're new to MLE, uh, essentially what it enables you to do is write your JavaScript inside a code inside of a cloud uh, and you can leverage it directly from PL SQL. So if you have those JavaScript developers out there or you want to call in more program, you know, more libraries to do some certain functions, um, it really makes it a nice blend of PL SQL and, and JavaScript uh, for development team. Uh, let's get started. What are we going to look at today? Uh, it's going to be a fairly simple example of, of how to pass variables. Um, in this example, I'm just going to start with a look at our table. So we have a, a table with uh, player information. And in this particular case, uh, we're going to go ahead and select. And you can see that we've got a player ID over here, 21 and 1. Uh, we get the player first name, last name, and the player's jersey number. And what we're going to do uh, is uh, create a function in, inside of uh, uh, PL SQL uh, that leverages JavaScript to build basically a code name for the player. So our end result will look like this. We're going to take the uh, take a player ID, as you can see right here, pass it into a function, uh, then we'll query, and at the end of the day, we'll form a code name over here. All right, so what was that function that we just created, and and what does the code actually look like? So let's take a look. This is our other function. You can access it in my Git repository. Um, we got a function called codename. Uh, we're going to take the player ID. This is the unique identifier for the player and pass it in. Um, we have a couple variables. Uh, first, we're going to declare uh, that we're going to leverage DBCS MLE. Um, that's so we can use the multilingual engine and run the JavaScript. Uh, we're going to have a jersey number, two variables in PL SQL, which is the jersey number uh, and the uh, that or the code name that is, is really what's coming out. So um, this is our JavaScript. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, when you run this function, the first thing that it's going to do is, is begin in the, the, the begin block down here. Uh, it's going to create a context for the, the database multilingual engine. Uh, this is kind of just warming it up. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and select the jersey number uh, into our PL SQL variable that we declared at the top. Uh, from the player's table. Um, you can see here that this is our input variable uh, on the function. This is the unique identifier for the player. Uh, once we have this, the first thing we're going to do is, is just show you how to share this particular variable with, uh, with a variable in JavaScript. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is take uh, this jersey number that we've selected into our PL SQL variable, and we're going to export it to the multilingual engine using the syntax here. And, and the context that obviously we created earlier. In this case, we're going to use the, the num as kind of the, the syntax or the, the JavaScript piece that we're passing it into. Uh, next, we'll execute our JavaScript code. So we'll initiate the execution of the JavaScript code. So let's go up and take a look at that code. Uh, now, this code is all inside of a, a clob, obviously. Um, when, when our JavaScript code goes to run, we're going to pull in two libraries. We're going to pull in our bindings library. Uh, this is so we can pass the variables back and forth. And the second JavaScript library we're going to pass in is our Emily uh, JS Oracle DB library to query the database. Um, at the top here, we see a, a variable definition. We could put var, but I'm just going to keep it in the in memory spec with the, the term let. Um, and we have our JavaScript uh, number variable. And this is where we import the variable that we, we just shared. So we exported it from PL SQL. Uh, right down here with this line. Notice the, the word num. Up here, we imported it into our JavaScript variable. We also declared uh, our codename variable uh, that we just left blank. Uh, after that, we're going to begin to form a query. This is kind of how you can form a query in the MLE engine. 
uh, where we're going to select the first name and last name from the players, and we're going to have one parameter that's passed in, uh, which we use the syntax, you know, kind of colon jersey. We'll create our, our connection uh, inside uh, from MLE to the database table. Uh, then we'll execute uh, our query, and when we execute the query, we need to pass in the parameters uh, for the jersey. So notice here that we've got our parameter name, which is jersey, and then right here we've got our JavaScript variable that we imported in earlier from PL SQL with the, the jersey number. Uh, we'll just do a quick check in case no players are found, uh, and then next we're going to simply we're going to form our code name. So with the results of the query, uh, we're going to loop through the rows. Um, in this case, there's really only one row, for example, but you know, just to show you uh, what, what the syntax could be. Um, and we're going to, for each row, we're going to get the first character. Uh, and we'll just do a quick uh, character at transformation in JavaScript. And then we're going to append the first character of, of, in this case, the first name, right? And the last name with um, our jersey number, which was the variable right up here. Uh, and last but not least, uh, with that information, we're ready to export it back to PL SQL. So here we've got our bindings. Uh, once again, we're going to do a bindings export variable. Uh, our, our variable here is, is code name that we created, right, and just inserted in JavaScript. And we're going to pass it back uh, to the, the, the name full name in PL SQL. All right, if we go back to our PL SQL code, we can see um, this is the execution of the block where we left off before. Upon completion of the execution, we're going to look at the multilingual engine for the variable called full name, which obviously we just exported, and we're going to set that to the PL SQL variable full name that we declared at the top, right? So that's this variable right here. Uh, with, with that in hand, or once that variable is set, uh, we're going to drop our multilingual engine connection, free up the memory, and then we're going to return the PL SQL variable called full name. So if we go back here, we'll just run this one more time. When we run this, that's the function that's running, uh, and I'm just simply passing variables back and forth to, to get the code name uh, for our players.